welcome Lee Ann Davis from the National Center for Criminal Justice and Disability in the US. Good afternoon. My name is Lee Ann Davis and I'm with the ARCS National Center on Criminal Justice in the US. I want to start by introducing you to a friend and a colleague of mine, James Metters. James has developmental disabilities, but he's also a rape survivor. James experienced sexual assault four different times over his life, and the last time was in his own apartment where he was raped by someone that he thought was a friend. Now, James and I share some similar experiences and that we are both sexual assault survivors, but he experienced the justice system very differently. And that's because the justice system is not set up or equipped to serve people with developmental disabilities. So the challenge that we see is how do we help people with disabilities really have access to the justice system? Here's what we know from data in the US. People with disability are two to three times more likely to be victimized. Now when we look at the other side of the issue, they have a 43% chance of being arrested by age 28. We have to consider what are the root causes of this. We know that there's persistent bias, there's a lack of knowledge, and a lack of experience among criminal justice professionals, many of whom have never had any training when it comes to disability. So here's the solution. We knew it had to be more than just training alone. So we began to think about how do we get the justice community talking to the disability community so we have a three-step approach with our Pathways to Justice training initiative. Step one is creating disability response teams. These teams are made up of law enforcement, victim advocates, attorneys, people with disabilities, and disability advocates. And what they do is become the go-to resource on these issues in their community. Step two. We then work with the disability response team to provide training to justice professionals in their own communities. And then last, we provide technical assistance for these teams so that it doesn't end on training day. They can continue to learn and grow and learn from each other about solutions that work in their area. To date, we have uh, created 15 disability response teams. You'll see them there in orange um, on the map. And we've trained over 1,200 justice professionals. And while we've covered a lot of ground, we know we have so much more to, to go. And that is where you come in. Uh, we are looking to scale the full Pathways to Justice model, starting in the U.S., but we'd like to then go globally as well. We're using the licensing and the train-the-trainer approach. But I want to share with you the needs that we have, because I know that you're excited to join us in this. First, we're looking for partners. We need partners um, who kind of share our vision of justice for people with disabilities, we also are looking for funders, um, funders who can provide the uh, help to develop more capacity within our National Center on Criminal Justice and Disability so that that will allow us to get more and more training out to justice professionals. And then last, expertise. We're looking for expertise specifically in helping us replicate the model internationally, but then also an evaluation as we look at having a very strong tool so we can know that what we're doing works, not just in the US, but internationally as well. Now, James had a clear pathway to justice, but without that, he would have never been able to move from victim to survivor. And without building pathways to justice, people will never be able, people with disabilities, to have a way to experience inclusive justice. 
We thank you so much for your time today. We have brochures um, that we'd like to share with you on the Pathways to Justice training, and we hope that you will join us in being a partner with us for inclusive justice. Myself, Ariel Sims, is here as well. Please look for us later, and thank you so much for your time.